Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit with Amusement with a Twist Orlando, and today I'm going to make a flamingo. Um, you'll want to have uh, three orange, three pink, and one white, 260. And as usual, if you have to use a pump to blow them up, I blow them up all, all by mouth. So I'm going to get started. Uh, the white one is only used for the eyes, so we don't really need a lot blown up. Uh, you can go about halfway or whatever you want. Like I said, it's just going to be for the eyes of the flamingo. Um, then you'll want to blow up a pink 260 also. Standard uh, five finger off the end or so will work just fine. Um, okay. Basically, you want to decide how big you want your eyes to be for your flamingo. I usually go, what is an open hand? That, that should be more than sufficient um, for your eyes. Um, then I'll match my other balloon up, and, and, and I want to make them about as even as possible. So when I twist it through there like that, they, they, they should be about the same size. Okay, so basically now we're going to make a lock twist. That, that helps from keeping to have the extra uh, pinch twist on the top. Uh, any design that you have where you have your eyes on the front, it's always easier to lock them together or loop them together or whatever you want to call it first and then, and then do it. And then just take it and twist it down instead of trying to shove it through after the fact. Um, I just find it a lot easier to do it this way. Um, okay, now we got now we got our eyes on the back of our head. Okay, now you can get rid of the white one. Um, tie all off and tuck it. Always pull apart before pushing stuff in. Take your uh, nozzle that's floating around in there, tuck that in. Should have a pair of eyes at, in the back of the head, like that. Okay. Now we're going to leave this one for a little bit here while we make the next piece. Okay, this uh, orange one. Uh, standard five off the end. Uh, we're gonna make the beak. Uh, so basically, we want it to kind of curl down. So we give it kind of like a, a, a beak, like, like maybe a, like a toucan type beak type thing going on. Okay. Decide how long you want your beak to be. You can make it short. You can make it long. It's really up to you. I find that it's about two open like that, so it's about 14 fingers or so. I couldn't tell you exact inches or anything like that. Then we're going to put an ear twist on the end. And this one here, we want to like try and bend it also so that we have that nice bend effect so all we're doing is we're just running it back and forth like that basically stretching it because we want to kind of keep the bend effect going on I make the bottom one a little shorter than the top one if I can show you what I'm doing here we should have what looks like this okay now we're gonna just take that twist it over tuck it through you should have something that looks like that. Now I put another uh, ear twist on this end. You don't have to put an ear twist there. You can just make two pink ear, tw ear twists on the uh, other balloon. I just use the orange. It's just easier to lock that together. Um, it gives a little more depth. That being said, we're moving back to this one here. We're going to pick this up. We're going to put a lock uh, ear twist right underneath the head. And then we're going to take our balloon where the pin.
pinch twist is. Basically, what we're just going to do is we're just going to roll it around, holding the two pinch twists together. Just roll your uh, nose right around until you come out the other side. Come on, buddy. Get back in there. Okay. Now you should have something that looks like this. What I do is I tuck the top one in just a hair so it doesn't like roll to the sides or anything. So we'll have what looks like that. Okay. Now, with the flamingo, he's got a neck and it kind of can go any direction you want. Um, basically, I give him a nice little S bend or whatever by hold. Basically, all I did was take the balloon, push it against the other hand, squeeze it a little, and, and now I have a like semi bent neck effect going on here. And positioning your ear twist so that your balloon goes between it. Uh, depending on the size of your ear twist, that may not set there properly. Um, it, it all comes down to practice until you get it the way you want it to be. Okay. Right here where we got the bottom of that bend, that's going to be the bottom of my neck. So I'm going to twist that off like that. You'll still have that extra piece here. Okay, now holding that together, I, I pinch it between under my arm or between my knees, depending on if I'm sitting or standing. Blow up another pink. 260 to about 7 off the end or 5 to 7 off the end should be fine now this is going to be the body so we're going to we're going to squeeze it down squeeze it down as much as you can make it semi soft okay you don't really have to squeeze it down if you don't want to that's up to you okay we're going to make it ear twist to start off the new balloon so you're gonna have an ear twist and then we're just gonna take our ear twist I'm gonna wrap it right on in here you don't really have to squeeze the balloon down if you don't want to I do it just to keep it from popping um, so now I want to decide how big his body is gonna be I figure that's about the same length as his beak, which is about 14 or so. Um, that's a good, good size to estimate at. Now you're gonna have this piece, which is nice because that's gonna create his tail. Come back. And depending on how how bulky you want him. You can go one more time or whatever. I usually make this one shorter. I pull it back down so that his head is more in a upper um, direction. And then, then I just twist it in there and then I tuck it through one time. And then I get rid of that. this tail I squeeze that out to make it soft and then I just loop it back to his tail and just tuck it through okay then to shape his tail I just do like the dovetail where you, you take it and you push it inside itself it gives it a nice semi-square heart type design to it just by taking your fingers pushing them in and then squeeze it together I'm trying to get a picture of it but I can't I can't show you this center piece is down and it like like that I guess it just squeeze it and you should have what looks like a, a bubble heart type thing going on there okay then just position it you should have what looks like this. Okay, 
this next part is easy to do. Uh, we're gonna blow up a, a 260 orange to about five to seven off the end, like normal. Okay, this one I squeeze it down. Just you can do it like all the way like this, or you can tuck it under your arm and squeeze it. The object is to just make it a little softer. Okay. Now this one connects really easy to your design, so you want to try and make them as even as possible. That's why I squish it down first, because I want to figure out how much air is in my balloon, and I'm gonna before I even do it, I'm gonna tie that because I don't want the balloon to shift once I once I make my twist. That's why I already squeezed it down. Okay, now that we tucked it through our flamingo, we want to decide where his knees are going to be. And he'll shift around until you're finished with the project. Okay, so his legs are even. Now we got to decide, okay, how far down we want his knees to be. So we're going to just twist it where we decide our knee is going to be. And then we just put a ear twist right here. twist right yeah, right here try and make your ear twist about the same size that way your feet stay about even. Okay. so you should have what looks like uh, um, a fish loop you got the, the loop with the two ear twists and then straight out it looks like a fish yes okay now what I do is I turn it so that one leg goes back, one leg goes straight down, giving it like that that posing, standing thing. And, and again, once you get him in place, he he won't shift that much. Okay, now the next object. Trying to get his knee to set where it's supposed to be. Okay, so you should have one that's sideways, one straight up and down, which gives it that backwards motion. Okay? Okay. Now we're moving to the next piece. Okay, the only reason I use another piece is because I like my feet different than the standard bubble round things. So, in order to get it with that setup, you have to use another balloon. Okay, we're gonna make two sets of these. Um, basically, I do a hand bubble followed by ear twist. Just like you would do your dinosaur feet or whatever. Uh, followed by a, just a, a regular one inch bubble followed by an ear twist. position them so that they're going like forward then I lock just these two together okay then put an ear twist here and voila you you will have what looks like a foot break that off but I keep the uh, rest of the balloon I deflate deflate it a little because I don't want too much pressure in there when I'm trying to make this next piece if you have to use another balloon um, it just depends on like how much pressure you built up in there if it's gonna pop or not okay so now once you get your foot, you just tie it on to wherever you want your your, your pieces to go here. So I'm gonna tie that on. I'll get rid of that extra when I'm when I'm finished by cutting it with a pair of scissors. And you should have what looks something like a 
to it and then on your flamingo. Simple but impressive. Okay. Now, you should have about, I'd say, a hand length off the end left. Okay, then just squeeze your bubbles. Helps if I go the other side. Okay, you should have about a hand length off the end. So we're going to squeeze it down a little. Put a first one. Our ear twist. Our small bubble. Our ear twist. side, twist it, tuck it, ear twist, and then pop it off. Your feet should be about the same size as long as you did your measuring um, as to like handling bubble or whatever you made your other one. Yeah. Come on, get in here. Find sometimes that your ear twist likes to try and get away. It's easier to just sometimes tuck it through and then you know, that way it'll stay in place. Okay, so now that we got our ear twist, we're gonna tuck it on to our flamingo. And just to make sure it doesn't come out, we just tuck it through. grabs hold of it, it ain't just gonna take off. Okay. So, now you have your feet and your flamingo. Um, position your head the way you want it to be. Okay, okay. And all in all, that's the flamingo. Except for drawing the eyes. And I don't have a gonna say I thought I ran out of pins so I was gonna have to go get some but you just make your eyes any way you want just usually use just the standard round with the semi bottom colored in looks like pretty decent eyes Have a great one. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.